absolutely love that about this car. So, parking sensors, same thing. So you can see right on here, I, I absolutely love this stuff. I mean, you could literally just see everything. It's so easy to maneuver. I mean, you don't have to look out the side windows if you don't want. So amazing, look at that. You gotta love technology, man. So you know for the video, we gotta go on Sport Plus though. obviously something I love you know even windows up panoramic roof up you can still really hear the sound of this car uh, the, it just sounds <laughs> it sounds like you're just in a really really a way more expensive car than what you own that's for sure uh, I've never heard a v6 turbo ever sound like this especially stock uh, absolutely insane it's it's amazing but I'm going to try to find a place that I can go to, to actually, uh, uh, to try to, um, show the parking, the advanced parking on this thing. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can do it here. I don't know. Got some parking spots right here. So let's see if we get the arrow, it'll let us do it. You want to, you want to show us? should be looking there we go there it is. all right let's see how it works I'm not crazy about this in the nighttime but daytime seems to work pretty good so we put it in reverse it's gonna say do you want to start we hit okay and then you just let your foot off the gas you know I'm not touching anything and it's doing it like I said I'm not I'm not doing anything now just stopping so what you need to do is go in a drive now and then let it go on its own. Then you need to just tap, tap on the gas, give it some gas, straighten out. Now it just tells you. It's pretty brain dead. All right. Accelerate and brake. So you just press on the gas a little bit and it just is going to straighten out for you. Sometimes I'm telling you it's a little freaky because I'm like, Ooh. I don't like the angles it takes, but it'll never hit. I'm telling you, it'll never hit. Now I want you to go back in and drive. I mean, it's a little ridiculous. If you can't do this, you really probably shouldn't be driving, in my opinion. But um, it's not bad. Then go back into reverse. Hit the gas. Yep, there you go. Oops. Alright, so here we are at Walmart. I'm having a hard time finding a place to parallel park, I tell you. But, uh, you know, we're gonna see. Oh, here we go. I don't know which spot it's telling me to go into, but we'll see. So, again, I'm gonna throw it in reverse. I'm telling you, sometimes this thing's a little scary. Throw it in okay. And then let's see, where, where is it trying to go? Oh, yeah, see, I don't know if I trust that. Look, we're going right into the... Oh. I really hope I didn't just hit that. I'm trying to show the stupid video. Well, I'm done with that. 
like I said, I, I'm not really sure that that's like the best, uh, you know, I, I think they're a couple years away for that or something that you don't buy a AMG anything. Well, I shouldn't say that you don't buy AMG C43 and expect to want to have it park itself. That's my personal pain. I think all the autonomous driving, you know, if you want that on an E class or a C class or something, you know, fine, you know, but on something like this, that's the whole reason why you buy it is you want to drive it and have fun, you know? So, all right.